Hello everyone and thank you so much for the great response to our introductory video. We received many questions, so I want to get right to it. The first question we got, we got this several times, is name the top three places you can't miss while in Costa Rica. Number one place, Paz Volcano. Why? Because it's awesome. It's close to the airport, about an hour away. You can combine it with a coffee plantation tour. It's the largest crater in the world. It's great for hiking. And basically, if you go to the coffee plantation tour in the Foz Volcano, you can do that in half a day. A quick tip on Foz Volcano, when you go, go on a clear day. Clear, sunny day is important, so you actually get to see the crater. Um, if you go on a cloudy day, um, clouds come and go, so you'll, you might get to see the crater, but you might not. So make sure you go on a clear, sunny day to increase your chances of seeing the, uh, the actual crater. Number two spot, Arenal Volcano. It's simply spectacular, just like Paz Volcano. Um, you get to enjoy the natural hot springs, you get to see the northern part of Costa Rica and experience the rainforest. Um, I do recommend staying at least one night since it's about a three hour drive from the main airport. Um, there are many resorts um, around Arenal Volcano, all sizes and prices, so do your research before um, planning a trip to Arenal or contact me and I'd be happy to provide some suggestions on places to stay based on your budget and taste. Um, clouds will come and go during the day so if you are patient you will get to see the whole volcano, um, a sight not to be missed. Um, at times when you can't see it though um, you will be able to hear the rumblings and blow-offs and that's a constant and it's pretty pretty uh, cool. Imagine sitting on a natural hot spring that's heated by the volcano, well, seeing the volcano at the distance, having a margarita, you won't want to miss Arenal Volcano. It's pretty spectacular. The number three spot I would recommend is the beaches in Guanacaste, and this is our bread and butter, being at Pura Vida House. We're right in the smack middle of all the beaches in Guanacaste. Um, they're some of the best in the world. Uh, white sand beaches, volcanic sand beaches, surfing beaches, sunset beaches, rocky, beaches great for jogging, crowded and not crowded beaches, basically something for everyone's taste. See for yourself, here are some of our favorites. A great sunset at Avellanas Beach here. Um, here's also Conchal Beach, great for snorkeling and a massage on the beach. And also here's Langosta Beach, great for relaxing and taking a long walk or jog down the beach. And finally Tamarindo Beach, perfect for beginner surfers. Basically, you can go up and down the coast and experience dozens of beaches. Um, I would say it, Liberia International Airport is better for going to Guanacaste. Um, Costa Rica has two airports. One is Juan Santa Maria International Airport, and that's in the middle of the country. Um, the country has two coasts, Atlantic and Pacific. Um, the main airport is in the middle, and it'll take about three and a half hours to get to Guanacaste going west. Um, if you land in Liberia International Airport, that is the northern part of Guanacaste. That's ideal for seeing all the beaches and everything that Guanacaste offers. Um, I should say that both airports, both Liberia as well as Juan Santa Maria International Airport, um, offer daily flights. Um, basically, every airline from the U.S. Um, goes down there. Or you can also just land in the Central Valley in the main airport and go to Quaz, go to Arenal, and then head out to Guanacaste, the North Pacific part of Costa Rica, and uh, you get to see some of the Costa Rican countryside. Before I go, I want to quickly answer three more questions that we received. Um, the first one is, what is Costa Rica's currency? It's called Colón, or Colones in plural, um, and it's named after Christopher Columbus. Um, they were introduced in 1896, replacing the Costa Rican peso. Second quick question, what is the exchange rate? Um, it's roughly 500 colones for every dollar. Um, this fluctuates, it could go up to four, you know, 560, go down to 470, but basically um, in everyday commerce, vendors will take your dollars and exchange them for 500 colones each. So for example, 20 bucks will be 10,000 colones, 40 bucks will be 20,000 colones. The third question I want to answer really quickly is, are dollars accepted in Costa Rica? Um, I would say not so much in the Central Valley, but when you get out to the coasts, like the Caribbean coast or Guanacaste, they are accepted pretty much um, everywhere. Um, where we're at, in Pura Vida House, that's the North Pacific part of Costa Rica, Guanacaste, um, our guests a lot of times don't even exchange 
uh, dollars for colones. They just use dollars um, straight up. And like I said before, it's 500 colones for every dollar. Credit cards are also accepted in many places as well. Um, although I do recommend checking with your credit card provider um, for any international fees that they might charge while you use your credit card in Costa Rica. All right, so that's pretty much it. I've tried to answer um, some questions that we received from last week. Um, on our next video, we're going to be talking about cost of living, um, how is food in Costa Rica, including foods that you cannot miss, um, security, and how to not get taken advantage of for being a foreigner. Um, so we'll give you guys some really useful tips um, next week. So long, everyone. Saludos y muchas gracias. Or as we say in Costa Rica, pura vida, life is good. Bye-bye.